Trail one to nothing, but tonight the Brewers are celebrating their ninth annual Negro League tribute game. And I'm joined by two of the honorees here today, Ted Tolls Jr. And Ted, thanks for joining us. What are some of the highlights of your playing career in the Negro Leagues? Some of the, maybe the main highlight was playing my first year with Pittsburgh Crawlers. I beat the great Hunters Wagner All-Star team. And that put me on the team with Jackie Robinson All-Stars that face Bob Feller and the Major League All-Stars. I didn't play in that game, but the greatest thing that happened, Hollywood sent out three of their stars, George Rapp, James Cagney, and Humphrey Bogart. And I got to shake hands with each one of them, and I'm still shaking their hand. What a phenomenal story. Certainly a highlight for you. And also, Nathan, Sonny Weston, you were an outfield with an outfielder with Chicago. What has today been like, the pregame ceremony and also going into the Hall of Fame tomorrow? I would say I had the most wonderful, pleasant day of my life. Uh, I think the fans has been tremendous. Uh, the organization, Milwaukee Brewers organization, and also uh, uh, Mr. Den Dennis Biddle, uh, I think they've been wonderful, and also the members of the staff have been really wonderful, and I just had a great day. Well, thank you to both Ted and Nathan for joining us, and Brian, tomorrow they will go into the yesterday's Negro League Hall of Fame, a special ceremony for them here today and also tomorrow. Well, that's a great thing the Brewers do. Thanks, Sophia. Great interview there, and, uh, boy, some stories mm -hmm. those guys can share, and uh, the Brewers do uh, put the Negro Leagues in their proper place and it is a a league and it was a time in baseball that needs to be honored and respected such an important part of our game as Granderson sends one to right that is hooking and it is gone a home run for Curtis Granderson he is breaking out of a slump in a big way tonight a double in the third and a home run here in the fifth. Yep, they pull it into center field for a double and now hooks one right down the line and just able to sneak it over that wall and right. Tucks it inside that foul pole. And that two seam fastball from Willie Peralta out over the plate and look at the extension for Granderson. Yeah, good balance head down and he's always been a guy that can hit home runs. Not a big guy but he's got a lot of power in that bat. And his 15th homer makes it two to nothing Mets. As Daniel Murphy takes a strike. Now, but well said about the Negro Leagues and uh, you know the Brewers and all the baseball for that matter, honoring those players that never did get a chance to play in the major leagues. About time they get their due. There's a little flare by Murphy, and that's going to fall a base hit. So a single here with nobody out after the home run by Granderson. And uh, we talk a lot about Cooperstown and the Baseball Hall of Fame that induction ceremony tomorrow if you ever get a chance to go to the Negro League Baseball Museum that is in Kansas City and it's one of the great museums in the world and uh, a ceremony before the game you know Ricky Weeks his grandfather played in the Negro Leagues and has uh, long been a proponent and a supporter of the uh, Negro League recognition ceremony. Yeah, Ricky took a contingent or was part of a contingent that went to the Negro League Hall of Fame in Kansas City one off season and said he had a great time. Good that he does that understands and respects those that came and went before him. David Wright back to the mound Peralta double pumps to second for one and a double play Had plenty of time.